who is behind the revival of Mungiki? <clears throat> Whom do you think Rigathi Kashawa and Kithura Kindiki are referring to? So ladies and gentlemen, before I continue with this video, let me take this time to request you in a special way that you watch this video up to the end. I like this video. Drop a comment. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that every time I'm going to do any video, YouTube will be able to notify you. And for those who have been coming back to watch my content, thank you very much, guys. This far, it's because of you and I don't take it for granted. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a war between Rigathi Kashawa and the former president Uhuru Kenyatta. This is something we saw long time ago. They have been trying to avoid this war, but right now it is difficult for them to hide to Kenyans. Let everyone know that brothers, our brothers from the mountain are creating a war that will never end soon. If you keenly listen to Kithura Kindike, he's trying to say that there is a leader who is sponsoring those guys, that group called Mungike, and they know that person. On Sunday, Rigathi Kashawa also said that Uhuru Kenyatta awachane na watoto wa watu. Alikuwa raisi na alimaliza na kaenda nyumbani. Acha kunulia watoto pombe. Sasa ukizikiza watu wawili vizuri, you can clearly come out and conclude that Rigathi Kashawa Kithura Kindiki are 100% sure that the revival of Mungiki is being sponsored by former President Uhuru Kenyatta. And now my question this evening is that, guys, do you think these leaders are accusing uh, Uhuru Kenyatta in the right way? Do you think Uhuru Kenyatta can revive Mungiki? That's the question out for you guys this evening i want you to drop a positive comment according to your views when you hear the speech of drakindiki i have the speech of drakindiki towards the end of this uh, video so don't skip watch and like so that uh, youtube can continue recommending my videos to other people when you look at this politically I can clearly say that Kenya Kwanza government has failed. And for them to hide or to show Kenyans that they are still working, they need to keep on fighting Raira Moro Dinga and Uhuru Kenyatta. They just do the war between those leaders so that they can waste a lot of time and at the end of the day they come out and tell Kenyans that we were ready to do what we promised you but those people wasted our time and that's what they used until they get they got into power they just told Kenyans that wamefukuzwa how what we mechukua serikali by force and right now we are here to form our next government serikali ya mama mboga serikali ya mtu wa poda poda that's the language they use but right now you can see how kenyans are crying high taxation there's no food people are dying People are crying out here. There is no jobs. I don't know which direction our country is heading to. But we pray 
that very soon many Kenyans will open up their eyes and see this. Though it will be late for some of them, but they will know that they were cheated. So ladies and gentlemen, take your time, watch this.